So let's give it a pour here. Just a little bit. That's all we need. I love that squeaky cork. Alright, so like I said, just a little bit. There it is in the glass. And the way we taste whiskey is a lot like the way we taste wine. First we swirl around, give it a look, look at the color, look at the viscosity, see whether or not it coats the glass. This one coats it pretty well, but it's not all that viscous, viscous excuse me, overall. And again, that beautiful honey color to it. And then we stick our nose in and give it a good sniff. Um, of course, with the higher alcohol content than wine, if you inhale too deep, you're going to burn your nose hairs off. So be sort of gentle, but really get in there. And immediately that vanilla flavor comes right out, which you would expect 11 years in whiskey oak. Beautiful, sweet vanilla smell. You definitely get some honey and some molasses coming off of there. It's not just the way it looks, that's the way it smells. A little bit of raisins. Yep, definitely a little bit of raisins in there. Like spiced raisins too, maybe with a little bit of a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of allspice, that sort of thing. Yep, that's pretty much what I'm getting. So we have vanilla, honey, molasses, spiced raisins. Very beautiful nose. I mean, like I said, this is the scotch that really opened me up to scotch. Um, oh, that was the other thing I meant to talk about was peatiness of scotch. Um, peat is often used to dry the barley. Um, they light a fire, they put peat on it, and the smoke goes up, and it not only dries the barley, and it flavors the barley. And peat is the result of sort of dead vegetable matter in a swamp that's been there for a very, very long time, and it's sort of the precursor to coal. So it's, it's dark and it's black and it's, you know, mostly carbon. Um, and it gives it a very smoky flavor. A very smoky, interesting flavor used in a lot of scotches. This scotch, however, is not peated. So, there's your FAQ about peat. Alright, so let's give it a little taste and just like wine, we swish it around in our mouth. feels absolutely beautiful in the mouth. Not all that harsh. Doesn't burn that much. Again, just like the nose, the vanilla comes right out of there. Jumps right out at you. And then the beautiful, beautiful honey. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh, excuse me. Okay, sorry. Beautiful sweetness to it. Um, it's, it's just like I added honey to this. And it's, you know, it's, that's um, coming from, a lot of it's coming from the whiskey oak, but also the sherry oak gives it a lot of the sweeter characteristics to it. Definitely raisins, that same, the cinnamon and the raisins, it, that comes right out there. Finish is still going strong, and it mellows out, and you just get this really nice sweetness to it, just really beautiful sweetness. Yeah, um, I really really love this scotch. It's... I had no idea scotch could be like this sweet, first of all, um, this smooth, and just this, this complex with its with its flavors. Um, the only scotches or whiskeys I'd had before were very smoky, um, very peaty, and they were lower grade, so they really they sort of burned and just they weren't pleasant at all. Um, of course, this isn't something you mix with coke, you know, like you would a cheaper American whiskey. Um, not even with water. A lot of whiskeys or scotches, if you add a little bit of fresh distilled water to it, it brings out the flavor more, but I wouldn't recommend that with this. I think it would ruin it a lot. Um, you know, you could also let this breathe in the glass for about, you know, half an hour before you even drink it. That would open it up a lot more. I actually don't enjoy that with this scotch. I find the flavor straight out of the bottle is, is the best. That's where you get 
like all of the beautiful you know sweet flavors and aromas whereas when you leave it for a little while it starts to get sort of I guess a bit iodine -y to me and I, I didn't enjoy it that much but let's give it one more taste here I love that sweetness. I mean, the, the sherry oak just really adds something special to this scotch. It's really amazing. Yeah. You know, if I had to give this a letter rating, I'd give it an A+, plus, hands down. Um, this, this is absolutely amazing scotch. It's just, it's so smooth and sweet and honey-like. You should really go out and find this and try it. Um, I paid $45 for this bottle um, that was on sale. Um, you know, scotch is obviously a different beast than wine in the sense that you can't go out and buy a few bottles of this a week, not only because you couldn't drink that much, but you couldn't afford that much. So scotch is something I buy very, very rarely. I've only bought a few bottles so far. Um, you can also get it in smaller bottles for half the price. So that's something to look into, but yeah, this is definitely an A-plus scotch. Just beautiful, beautiful flavors. Absolutely amazing, absolutely wonderful. It makes me really excited to get out there and try more scotches. Because if a $45 scotch can produce this, this amount of quality, you know, I'm sure there are other scotches out there which could even exceed this. So it's really exciting. So, when you're finished with your scotch, if it came in a nice tube like this, or if it came in a box, and it's in a clear bottle, you should always, always put it back in. And the reason for that is because light affects scotch, just like it affects beer and wine and any other beverage. Um, and you don't want it doing that. You don't want the light going in there and oxidizing it. You want, you want to preserve the scotch as much as you can. So keep the cap on the bottle, keep it in its container, keep it away from light, extreme temperatures, all of that good stuff, and you will have some really great scotch to enjoy. So that's it for my first scotch review. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. This is really great stuff. I even busted out my sport coat here, a little bit of a brown tweed for the scotch crowd. Um, I will be writing an article for this for my university's newspaper. So keep an eye out for that at dailycollegian.com. That's C-O-L-L-E-G-I-A-N. I'm not sure when it will run, but I will be introducing the college crowd to the finer scotch, so that should be pretty exciting. Um, and I have one more scotch I plan to review after this, so keep an eye out for that coming up in the future. And thank you again for watching. If you have comments or suggestions, um, please leave me comments on YouTube, or you can email me at wine at flashmat.com. That's flash as in camera flash, mat as in my name. Until next time, cheers.